Chapter Six: Fun with Scratch. Introduction. Dear children, you have already discovered how to give commands in Logo and move the turtle. Now is the time to create your own simple animations and learn basics of computer programming the fun way using Scratch. Scratch is developed by Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, Cambridge, USA. Scratch is a visual tool or programming language that can be used to create interactive animations, games, and demos. Children can learn programming the fun and exciting way using Scratch. This chapter covers basics of Scratch through stepwise Scratch programs. Another name for Scratch program is Script. Launching Scratch. Click on Start button and select Scratch option. Scratch Project Window. Menu bar. Play and stop animation controls, sprite manipulation options, sprites palette, stage, new sprite options, blocks palette, editing palette. Every animation in Scratch is treated as a separate project. Scratch interface shows the project window. Project window is composed of following main parts: stage, sprites palette. Blocks palette, editing palette. Stage shows the position and placing of sprites in your animation. It also shows the output of the animation created by you. Sprites palette lists all the sprites added by you in your animation. Sprites are various objects that together make your animation. Blocks palette contains all the building blocks of your animation. It has following tabs: Scripts tab. This tab lists various script blocks arranged in different categories. Costumes tab. This tab provides options to add and edit costumes for the sprites. Sounds tab. This tab provides options to add and edit sounds for our animation. Backdrops tab. This tab provides options to add and edit various backdrops to the stage. This tab is visible when we click on stage backdrop in the sprites palette. Adding sprites. Above the sprites palette, click on sprites from library icon. Sprites library will be displayed where sprites are organized in various categories. Double click on the desired sprite to add it to the stage. Moving a sprite. Best way to learn scratch is to start working on it and explore the possibilities. Let us start with a small animation script to move the sprite. Go to scripts tab of blocks palette. Click on events category. Event blocks will be listed. Drag block to editing palette. Click on motion category. Drag block and place it as shown in the figure. To run the animation, click on this above the stage. What did you notice? The sprite moved ten steps forward. Adding sprite dialogues. Sprites can be made to think and speak. Let us learn this concept with this activity. Open Scratch and add this block to the editor. Go to Looks category in Scripts tab and add Think for block. Set its text as What a fine day, as shown here, and duration two seconds. Go to Control category and add Wait block, as shown here. Set its duration to two seconds. Go to Looks category and add Say for block. Set its text as Welcome, as shown here, and duration two seconds. Run the animation. Changing sprite's costume. Add the witch sprite from the sprite library. In Blocks palette, go to Costumes tab. 
costume editor will open up. The editing toolbar provides basic drawing and coloring tools to change the appearance of the sprite. You can also flip the sprite up, down and sideways using flipping tools. Costume Library Clicking on Choose Costume from Library option, a costume library opens up that lists a collection of costumes for various characters to choose from. For example, in underwater category, Sprite Shark has three expressions. Changing Stage Backdrop In Sprite's palette, click on Stage 1 Backdrop. Notice that Backdrops tab has appeared in the Blocks palette. Click on Backdrops tab. The Stage Backdrop editor opens up. Click on Fill with Color option from the toolbar. Select the color from the color palette. Click on the stage in the editor. Backdrop Library Clicking on Choose Backdrop from Library option, a backdrop library opens up that lists a collection of backdrops organized in various categories. Double click on the desired backdrop. Adding sounds from Sound Library. In the Blocks palette, click on Sounds tab. Sound Editor will open up. Click on Choose Sound from Library option. A sound library opens up that lists a collection of sounds organized in various categories. Double click on the desired sound. Editing Sound. Desired part of sound sequence can be selected, cut, Copy and paste it to design a different sound sequence. Sound Effects Certain simple sound effects can be added from the effects drop-down list. For example, the sound can be played in reverse order using reverse effect. Drawing with Pen this script shown here sets the pen color and draws a square when spacebar is pressed. Explanation After setting the pen color and doing pen down, Sprite is pointed in rightward direction, point in direction 90 and move 100 steps. This will draw a line across 100 steps. In consecutive blocks, Sprite is pointed downward 180, then moved 100 steps, leftward minus 90, and moved 100 steps and finally upward 0 and moved 100 steps to complete the square. Try this script and observe the output. Event Handling an event is an action occurring at any point of time, before, after, or during animation. For example, user clicks on stage, a key is pressed on the keyboard, when green flag play animation button is clicked, etc. Scratch lets us decide what to do when a particular event occurs. For example, if a sprite is moving and user clicks anywhere on the stage, we can decide to stop the animation or let the sprite do something. The basic approach towards event handling is to identify the logical sequence of actions to be performed when a particular event should occur and attaching the set of blocks of such actions with a suitable event block. Let us try this out. Add Sprite MN from People category in Sprite's library. Using tool at the top of the stage, Decrease Ammon's size. Place Ammon at bottom right corner of the stage as shown here. From Scripts tab, Events category add when this sprite clicked block to your script. From Script tab, go to Motion category, add Glide to block with the values of seconds X and Y as shown here. From Scripts tab, go to Events category, add when space key is pressed, block to your script. Far on the keyboard, the sprite Ammon would stop moving. This way, Ammon would move on mouse click on it,